Hey YouTube and food lover, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Beans from Beans Pure Life. Please subscribe my channel if you haven't done so. Uh, today I have another uh, fun and healthy uh, recipe. Uh, we're gonna have lamb rack together. Uh, this is a grass fed lamb rack. I, I got it from the store. Uh, I try to have uh, the ingredient that they're non-GMO, grass-fed if they're meat, uh, uh, organic if they're a spice or vegetable. Uh, try to be more uh, organic uh, and uh, avoid sugar, avoid uh, uh, processed food and make your food yourself. You know, you go to the restaurant, if you buy this uh, food, they're gonna charge you a lot and the ingredient that you have no control on it. So try to have, uh, try to make it yourself. And I, I'm not saying that you, you cut all the fun and don't go out uh, and, uh, you know, uh, enjoy the life. But most of the time you can make it better yourself. So lamb rack for today, it's going to be roasted in a pan and also in the oven. It's going to be whole rack. Uh, it doesn't, you know, you don't need to be a chef to make this food. The food that I'm making for you, most of them, you, do, you, uh, you shouldn't be expert in uh, cooking. So this ramblack, black, uh, when uh, you're buying it, you know, you have to just a little bit pat it with a, uh, you know, towel uh, and uh, take the uh, moisture out of it and just remove this extra layer over here and that's it and it's ready to go. So just like this, you need a sharp knife. There you go. As much as you can, you, you don't want to just waste your meat also and go through to in depth. That's it. There you go. The meat is ready. I'm gonna use my paper towel to clean it uh, one more time, dry it, while my cast iron pan also on the stove is getting hot. So you don't need a lot of ingredients. You don't want, we don't want to exaggerate on this thing. It's already tasty. And uh, you don't need to add a lot of a spice. Garlic, organic one. I love garlic as by now you know. And I try to be generous on it. Both sides. And then my salt. Added a, a little. And my pepper. There you go. It's almost ready till we go to the pan. Let's go to my cast iron. So it's already preheated. I'm gonna add more heat. A little bit of uh, avocado oil, also organic. I'm gonna do a spray. As you see, the uh, cast iron is, it was hot and ready. So we're gonna just have one, like one minute or two minutes each side. And then I already preheat the oven, maybe 10 minutes in the oven, and that's it. You want to be juicy and also a little bit pink inside. I love it that way. 
and it's tastier. You can have it with maybe some brown rice, a little bit of white rice if you don't like brown rice, canola, some uh, vegetable, roasted vegetable, maybe tomato, roasted tomato, and like lots of uh, different ingredients that like no french fries, definitely. Last time I showed you how you can roast your uh, potato uh, in a oven, maybe if you want to, a couple of baby potatoes, it will do the job, but uh, uh, no mashed potato. See? Easily, you can adjust the little things, and you have a healthy food, fun food, and you don't get bored with your dieting, you know? Dieting, if, it's, uh, if it gets boring, if it gets hard, you're gonna forget about it, you're gonna be tired about it, and you're gonna leave it alone. But easily with this food, you can just have the taste, and also not as much as calorie. Just watch the side. The side make you, uh, you know, get some extra, uh, you know, unwanted weight. But control the side, control the food, try to make it yourself, make it healthier then it's going to be a, a healthy food. Okay, so we want to like sear uh, both uh, sides. So when I'm putting in the oven, it doesn't, uh, the juice doesn't go away. So this crisp on it from both sides, it just make it uh, like, uh, like kind of a, gel for those juice inside. They're gonna just keep it inside and the juice inside, they're gonna be warm and they're gonna circulate but they don't have no way of going out. Uh, uh, maybe like a minute each side and then 10 minutes in the oven, you have your healthy food that you can enjoy. already ready my oven is already preheated around 450 if I'm gonna put it like for 10 minutes and that'll do it for today all right so give me 10 minutes don't go away in next frame I'm gonna bring it out we're gonna cut it to see how it look like and we're gonna enjoy it together Go buy uh, uh, the ingredient and come back soon in next frame. We can eat it together. All right, 10 minutes pass and in the oven, 450 degrees. And I think my food is ready. I love it in medium rare. Hopefully I, uh, I get there and I haven't passed that point. Let me cut it. Let me see that, you know, what I did. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Look at the seam going out. So, let me cut a couple of pieces. Very hot. my dish right here how do you like my final point of making the lamb rack I love it it's so juicy it's just dripping I have my quinoa, I have my roasted tomato, and always I do uh, lemon for my lamb rack. This is from my uh, brother garden, Danny. Thank you, you're not here, but I'm enjoying your lemon with my lamb rack. Uh, I try to 
always have my lemon with my lamb rack, some on tomatoes. And there you go. So we're gonna taste it to see how is it the taste. Let me just put this one away and bring my fish close to me. Should I do it in a fancy way with knife or just go for it? My mouth is so <laughs> watery, I cannot wait to just cut the piece and The juice is dripping from my mouth, not this, <laughs> or both. Wow, wow, very tasty, very tasty. Oh yeah, don't go. So you see, in, in like less than 15 minutes, you have a healthy food, See, you don't have carb, you have, this is pure protein, and you have your tomato, vegetable, and your, your beef right here, your lamb rack, actually.